Hello everyone, welcome to Java for Testers tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to cover about loops in Java and in a couple of another tutorials, I'll cover what all loops are available. So um, looping is really important and you will be, you know, using it a lot uh, many times. So you know, if, if you have, you know, any exposure to any of the, you know, uh, programming uh, language, you would have already seen about the different loops that are available in the programming language. So similarly in Java, you have different loops, for example, while loop, do while, for loop, nested for loop. So we'll understand what all, uh, you know, uh, differences are between these loops. And in this tutorial, I'll cover completely uh, about the while loop and the syntax that is available in the while loop and how you can use while loop in your Java program. So if you see on my screen, um, the while loop, understanding while loop is, uh, you know, the first step to basically understand how you will uh, or master the looping concept in a Java. So the first thing is to basically understand what exactly, you know, the flow uh, of that particular loop is. So if you see this, you know, diagram, you have, you know, when, when we say while loop, it basically checks for a condition, okay? And if the condition, only if the condition is true, then it goes inside the loop, right? Or inside, uh, you know, uh, the while loop and then whatever code is mentioned or whatever lines of code is within that particular while loop that gets executed once it executes that particular piece of code so code inside while loop then it again comes back and checks for the condition whether the condition is still true or whether the condition hasn't been met okay so the first thing or the first entry point for the while loop is to check for the condition only if the condition is met or the return um, type for the condition is true. Only then it will go inside the while loop and execute the code. It will again come back, check the condition. If the condition is still true, it will again go back. So this looping concept is really, you know, important to, uh, you know, loop through certain, uh, you know, um, un unless until certain condition is met and execute that piece of code that you want to execute until that condition is not, you know, um, false. So in case the condition hasn't been met or the condition is now false, it will come back and exit the loop. So the loop will end. Now in the right hand side, you will see the syntax of the while loop. So while uh, the condition, so condition here will be evaluated to either true or false right so it's a boolean condition and the condition you can specify the expression so for example you want to check whether x is equal to y right so you have two integers and you want to check whether you know these two integers are equal if so while x is equal to y so if these two uh, you know um, integers are equal until they are equal the condition is true so it will get inside you know, um, the, the while loop and it will execute the statements that are mentioned within the while loop. Okay. So this is the simple syntax in case, you know, uh, once it, you know, has executed the whole loop, it will again come back, check the condition. If the condition is still, is still true, it will again get into the, you know, loop and execute the statements, um, until this condition is evaluated to false and in that case it will exit the loop and will execute the code that is you know mentioned after the loop if there is any code within the you know program so let me open eclipse id and explain you you know a simple while loop so i'll create a new class and i'll say while loop demo and i'll add a main method so to explain you about the while loop, say for example, you know, I will define a variable, uh, you know, int i and I'll specify the value as one, okay? Now, say for example, I want to, you know, um, print the numbers from one to 10, right? So I can use the while loop in this case and how will I do? I'll check for the condition. So I'll say while i is less than or equal to 10, right in that case i want to you know print the numbers so i'll simply say sys out i okay so i is the you know variable which we have defined this is of integer type and holds the value true right so in this case what will happen is 
Uh, once we, you know, uh, once the execution point will come to this line number nine, while loop, what it will do is, it, so I, uh, the value of i is one. So one will be, you know, checked with, you know, one is less than 10, right? So the condition is true. And in this case, it will come to this block. So it will print i. Okay, so it will print one in this case. Then we'll again go back, right? So we haven't done any manipulation on i yet, right? So we haven't, you know, incremented or decremented i yet. So what this will do is it will go back and it will again see. So still the value of i is one, right? And it one is still again less than 10. So it will keep printing that. So let's try uh, running it and you'll see that this will go into the infinite loop. And I'll explain you the reason why it went through the infinite loop. Right, so you can see that it's just keeps printing one, 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 and it didn't terminate. So I have to terminate this manually, okay? So the reason for that is because um, the value of i, I have, you know, uh, fixed to, uh, you know, one, and I'm not, I'm just printing the value. And in every case or every iteration, when it comes back and checks the value of i is still one, and it uh, it again gets into the you know loop and keeps executing that so now if i simply you know say i plus plus or increment the value of i every time the i is printed so one will be printed and the next case i will be incremented so the new value of i will be two if, if i say i plus plus and then two is less than 10 yes it will again get into the you know condition it will check the condition is true it will again come back and print the number two this time it will increment it to three this time after printing two and will again check so until unless you know the value is less than or equal to 10 it will keep printing the value so if i you know save this program and run it you will see that numbers one to ten have got printed on my screen right so that's what the while loop will basically help you to achieve so you you can uh, you know uh, test for or you can verify whether the condition is being you know fulfilled or it's true if it is evaluated to you know this condition is evaluated to true in that case you know it will get into this particular loop otherwise if it is evaluated to false it will directly exit the loop okay so if for example you know if i say i is rather than less than or equal to if i say i is greater than 10 right and i try to execute this loop so let's see what will happen so you'll see it directly terminated and nothing is printed right so that means it didn't go through this particular block at all okay if i put a sys out statement after this while loop right it will say after while loop i'll just print this statement and you will see that this statement will get printed in this particular case because this condition is being evaluated as false, right? So let me execute that and you will see that after while loop got printed, okay? But if I change it to i less than or equal to 10, so all z uh, all one to 10 numbers will be printed. Once, that, uh, once all those numbers will be printed, it will come out and then print after while loop statement. So let's run and see that. So you'll see in this case, the loop, uh, the, the code within the loop has been executed until the condition has turned to false. In that case, it came out of the loop and printed after while loop, right? So that's what uh, is, is all about while loop. So basically here, you simply understand that this condition is either evaluated to true or it's evaluated to false, right? Now, in this case, you can you know use any numbers or you can use any conditions that you want equal to less than or equal to. And based on those conditions, whatever you know evaluation result is, it will either get into the loop or it will, you know, come out of the loop accordingly. So that's all about, you know, the while loop and what exactly the while loop will be able to achieve, uh, you know, in uh, Java programming. We'll understand the while loop in our actual, you know, Selenium WebDriver code once we get into, you know, um, the actual uh, learning of the Selenium WebDriver.
So that's all for this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching.